Today is day 169 of Wonder. It is also Tuesday, July 26, 2022. And today I'm just going to work with the differential growth add-on I started working with a few days ago. So I'll just press on the cube X delete. Turn on my shortcuts real quick. Alright, then I'll do shift A, mesh, and then circle. And then I'll go into tab. And then the vertices already should be selected. And then I'll just press E to extrude and then S to scale and then scale all the way to zero by pressing zero. And then let go of that and then M to merge at the center. And now I have my beautiful circle. Now, when I was watching the video um, that I have linked, by the way, in day 167, um, let me just move this. I wondered why I couldn't just do shift A, mesh, and then circle, and then over here, change the fill type to n-gon it's like the same effect right but no if i go into wireframe mode i can clearly see the difference like this one obviously is just literally like a circle while this one has actual vertices and not only does it have vertices but it has like vertices that come together to make segments um which is a really important factor if i want to be able to actually use the differential growth add-on because the vertices are what kind of allows for that you know that natural manipulation of an organic natural how do i say this it allows for like a natural manipulation of the shape right um so this clearly doesn't work so i have to delete this go back to solid mode g y to grab it on the y-axis is this thing frozen all right so back to this all right and then i go into edit mode right and i'll go ahead and i'll do alt and select the vertices again and then in object data properties over here at the bottom i'll click on plus while i'm selecting the vertices and assign the weight to those vertices and now if i go into weight paint i'll be able to see that the vertices have a strong weight right and i see that because it's redder right um while the inner vertices i guess have a lesser weight um but the vertices really are they're not inner vertices those are edges um the vertices are the the dots right um, okay, and then if I just go to object properties and I go to differential grow and I now can do diff growth step, this will, um, you know, start allowing for like an organic shape. And now it starts looking like a flower or more like a confetti. But I know that I can control more of the shape if I adjust these values, but I haven't gotten to that yet. So this is what I'm going for now, and I guess this is fine. It's honestly looking like a pom-pom, honestly. Um, and then at this point, I'll just do Control s and save it. What's the date? 7, 26, 22. Desktop, Blender, Blends, put that in there. Alright, and then I'll go to Material Preview, click on New, and I'll kind of come here and get a color for it. Maybe something like this, and then I'll wait for that to load. Alright, so then I'll go to base color, and then hex, and then paste that color in there, and I can't see that because I'm not in material preview. Um, and now I'll be able to see it, so that's great. Um, now if I just go to array modifier, and if I want to make some duplicates, maybe along, let me see, if I go to front view by pressing the button under the escape key and then hovering over front, I'll be able to see that so maybe I'll do I don't know like five flowers and I'll have that there and then I'll just do maybe you know what can I just do something like maybe like two here and then apply that there and then I can add an array modifier on top of that and then move it over here so you put that zero in there and then have that be there. All right, and then maybe I should have also added a stem. So I'll do Shift A, Mesh, oops, not Mesh, Curve, Vizier Curve, um, S to scale it so I could actually see it. Object properties, maybe change the rotation of the Y to be 90 degrees, so it's vertical. And then I'll do GZ to bring that down. And then kind of point it at the center, right? So I'll do, I can't even see it, where is it? GY. Is it even at the center? Yeah, it is. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll go to Object Data Properties, um, and under Geometry, I'll just maybe put the extrusion to 0 0.01, and then I'll give the depth a little bit. Eh, I don't know, because clearly it's 
maybe 0 0.01 as well, right? And then I'll leave that as it is, and then I'll go to material um, properties and get like a base color of green, bring the saturation a little bit down, something like that. And then I'll do shift D, I don't really have time to use the array modifier, so I'll just do that. Um, just do G, Y, G, X, all right, shift D, G, X, put that in there, shift D, G, Y, put that in here, all right, and then at this point, maybe I made it too long, I think I did, um, just scale that, no, I don't really feel like it, um, actually I do feel like it, I feel, I feel it's like it's very long, is there any way I can just, nope, that better? Alright, I think that's fine. And then I'll do shift A mesh on cube S to scale that, S X to scale it here, front view by pressing the button under the escape key and then hovering over front. And then G X and then S Y. Oops, G Y also, let me put that in there. And then I'll go into here and I'll just put a face select in edit mode and then by selection to make that its own object and I'll call this dirt and then I'll go over here and make the, the box black and then I'll probably also give it a bevel modifier like 0 0.09 so it's like bevelly and then maybe segments 21 although the problem is this is not really bevelly but I guess I could just shrink it like this by pressing S right um, and then um, I went to Ambient to get like a PBR texture and I downloaded, I downloaded the 8K version and once I have that downloaded I can just control S real quick, um, go to shading. Alright and once in shading I click on new and then I click on principled VSDF and then I do control shift T and if that doesn't work then you have to go to edit preferences and make sure um, let's see, Node Wrangler is on over here in add-ons, so the Node Wrangler should be on for that to work. And then I just go to where I have the files, and it's pretty much literally just all of this over here. And I'll just do shift, shift, and select that, and then the texture should appear there in a few seconds. Alright, and then I can clearly see it's there now, um, and it's giving like a dirt texture, but it looks a little flat. And the way I can fix that is if I go to a layout, and I go to particle system and no 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 over here particle system click on new whoops as I select this click on new and then let's check on advanced physics bronian 0 0.5 alright so I'm just gonna change that number does that look like too much I don't care enough it's fine Alright, and then I'll do control S and go to run preview and now the light, I have to go and change it to the sun, change this to 4 or something, and then GZ maybe, GY, um, GX, maybe rotate it, something like that with the sun, alright, and then I'll do shift A, mesh, and then GZ, S to scale that, edit mode, edge select, select back edge, easy to extrude, edit mode, I mean back to object mode, modifier, add modifier, bevel, increase the amount, increase the segments, make a backdrop, check smooth, SY, and then kind of center it in the middle. Control Alt Z to set up the view. Oh no. If that happens, we'll just have to scale that down. So press S to scale that all the way down. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
What if I just do it again? Why can't I? Oh, the bronian is maybe too big. 0 0.05. 0 0.07 maybe? Maybe something like this? Short. Um, and then for the backdrop, what color do I want? New. Base color. In there. Does that look good? I don't think so. I guess I'll leave it like that. 